everyone and welcome back to another episode of eGamer. Today we are going to be uh, drowning some magic fish. I assume you've seen the title. You are in the right. There's a hundred, oh, there's a hundred and fifty of them. Okay, so I have a bowl of water. And here's what happens when you, when you, when you, when you, when you, when you, oh my gosh. This is what the fish look like. When you put them in your hand, they, they, they curl and stuff. And then it tells you a fortune. Here, here's, here's the back of the package if you want to pause and look at it. It might be backwards, I don't know. But if you put it in water, which I just did by the way, it dies. So I'm gonna put all of these in water. And that gotta die. See, now it's never gonna work again. 149 to go. Okay, so I've, I've soaked three of them and I put them on the thing. I know you can't see my face, but that's okay. I put them in the water and then they just, they fold and they're, they're eternally dead. Um, speaking of dead fish, wanna see Bob the dino? Here he is. He died, hardened, and then I ripped him in half. So currently, these fish right here, they cannot be ripped in half. It doesn't, I mean, they can, but it's not as easy as a simple tear. You gotta really, okay, that was, that was easier than I expected, but, when you have a dead crinkled fish that like hardened overnight, which this one it hasn't done, this is wet, they just tear and it's pretty cool. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do with 150 fish. I didn't think this through, I could have done it with five rather than 150, but like, this is cool. What if I like make it rain with fish? You know what I mean? I'm not gonna fold them up, so just Oh, that's so cool. My floor is covered though. It's a bit of a problem, but like, that's okay. And I still have plenty more on my table, which is kind of weird. Um, there's a lot, there's a lot of fish. Here. I got one. I'm gonna see what my fortune is. Or technically it's what my personality trait is. Whatever. Okay. I'm passionate. Into the water you go. Yay! Oh look, it's like a little, it has a little thingy thing. Um, I'm basically just gonna let these dry overnight and then uh, show you guys what they look like after they dry. Fish. Do you ever just have way too many magic fish? I know what to do. Drown them. That felt oddly like J.A.L., you know. Need a random flight to nowhere? Come on down and get your fish. Um, for extremely low prices because of the coronavirus. I have laid out some more fish to dry. Um, this one kind of just, it was ripped in half. And then I put it in there and it kind of sank. So I don't know what to do with that one. Um... But then, th these, I have too many, so I'm probably gonna have leftovers, to be honest. So if you have ideas, tell me, because I don't know what to do. They're magic fish, Bertram. <laughs> that was awesome! Okay, I, the camera didn't really get it, but it stuck to his nose, and it was really funny. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours, but I really could have done a better job drying them off. So really what's happening is, the color is, wow, okay. The color is seeping onto, how do I camera? The table. This is not going well. <laughs> when I think about it, I tried them off before. So I'm gonna draw off all the ones that I tried, so not these, and see how it goes. The color's coming right off some of these, which is quite crazy to me. It's, it's weird. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting it whatsoever. <laughs> My dog's excited. Okay, so I wasn't exactly intending on drowning all 150 fish, even though that's what the title is. So if you actually want me to drown all 150 of them, comment and I'll, I'll make a part two and I'll actually drown them all instead of just like these seven, or I guess I didn't count them, but seven. Okay guys, it's been a couple more hours. Oh my gosh. Sorry, you are got to deal with my dog. Again, I didn't dry them off when I should have, so they aren't as hardened as they should be now. Um, 
but that's okay. And I'll show you what it's like to use a normal one. This is this is non-drowned fish because you can't just tear it. Okay, okay, not as easily. You can't easily tear it. This one and this one that has been drowned. Okay, it's kind of the same. Easy. Okay, th this was pointless. Okay. The, the, the best part about this video is I get to fling this paper stuff everywhere and it looks cool when it's in the air. That's the best, that's the outcome of this video. So if you want to see more, d comment, because I'll do it. You just gotta let me know. Yeah. Like and subscribe, hit the bell to turn on notifications, and I'll see you guys next time. Innocent Hit Flower.